Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a diamond shape repeating pattern in Illustrator. Before we get started on this video tutorial, I want to show you what it is that we're going to create. We're going to create both of these patterns here in Illustrator, and it's a fairly simple process once you know how. To create my pattern, I've first set up a fill color and a no stroke, and I've created a document that's just a thousand by a thousand points in size, but yours could be any size you wish. I'm going to select the rectangle tool and just click once in the document because I want to create a perfect square. So I'm setting mine to 300 by 300 and I'll click OK. Now that I've got my shape, I want to rotate it 45 degrees. I can do that by choosing Object Transform Rotate, or I could do it by hand. I'm going to do it by hand this time, so I'm going to click the Selection tool so that my shape is selected. I'm going to position my mouse pointer just outside the top edge of the shape, and holding the Shift key as I do so, I'm going to rotate it just 45 degrees because if you hold shift, it's constrained in its rotation to multiples of 45 degrees. Now this is a very flat sort of diamond. It's not quite as diamond shape as I would like it, so I'm actually going to stretch it. And the way I stretch it is choose Object Transform Scale. Now we want to do a non-uniform scaling for this, and we want to transform the object. And I'm going to set its horizontal to 100% because I don't want it to be scaled in the horizontal direction, but I do want it to be scaled in the vertical direction. I'm going to try 150% and just have a look and see if that looks like the kind of diamond that I want. And I'm pretty happy with that, so I'll click OK. And now I want to just reset my bounding box, so I'll choose Object, Transform, Reset Bounding Box. And so here's my diamond shape. With my diamond shape, I'm ready to create the first of my patterns. So with it selected, I'm going to choose Object, Pattern, Make. And here is my pattern. It really is as simple as this. It's just a simple grid pattern, and it's all in place. All you need to do is just make sure that these tips are touching, and they should be anyway. So I'll just click Done. And now my new pattern is already created in my Swatches panel. And we're ready to create the second one. I'm going to size this down a little bit, so I'm going to hold the Shift key to size it in proportion. And that's the first of my triangles, and now I'm going to create my second and third. I'm going to drag this one away so that it intersects with the first, and I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key down so that I make a duplicate. And I'm going to do it once more. I'm going to make sure that I drag it out exactly horizontally, that it intersects exactly with that previous shape. Hold Alt or Option to make sure that I make a duplicate. And now I'm going to color each of these a different color. So I'm just going to create a little color scheme here. And now these three shapes are going to be my next pattern. So I'm going to select over all of them and choose Object Group just so that they're grouped together. And now I'm ready to create my pattern. So I'm going to select my shape and I'm going to choose Object, Pattern, Make. Now we've got our beginnings of our pattern, but you can see here that each of the colors is stacked on top of each other, which while it is a nice pattern, it's not really what we came here to do. What I want is for these diamonds to be offset so that the green one is actually attached to one of the blues. Now for that, I need to select my brick by row pattern. And then I need to offset these, and I need to offset them by about one third or two thirds. One third will give me this pattern, and two thirds will give me a different pattern. And I can just choose which of these two patterns I like better. I actually like this one better, so I'm going to select it and click Done. So now we've got our two patterns. Let's just test them. Let's create a square sort of shape to test our first pattern. I'm going to drop my pattern into there choose Object Transform Scale, and now let's scale the pattern but not the object itself. I'm going to bring it down in size so that we can see how this pattern is going to scale and how it's going to look in practice. And let's go do that again for our second pattern. 
again making a shape to put it in. I'm going to click on the pattern so it's placed inside that shape and it's been scaled automatically for me. So there you have a way of creating very simple diamond shape patterns in Illustrator. I'm Helen Bradley, thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more of my video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.